Here's a part of the journey that no one talks about. In order to become excellent at something, it takes time, effort, and repetition. These elements would come easily in a perfect world, but they don't. We're all striving to actualize a better version of ourselves. However, the reality of the process is frustrating and tedious and takes place along a road of trying and failing consistently. It's hard enough to make any reasonable person quit. Why is quitting so common? Because becoming is uncomfortable. For most, the journey always starts with the end goal in mind. We take a step forward, swimming in the dopamine of what accomplishment will look and feel like. We want the glory and attention, and most of all, the validation. Our ego lusts for it. We've convinced ourselves that the price of becoming is small and affordable because we've watched others glorify their success. We've underestimated the task and overestimated the reward. With nothing but the end goal in mind, we start to engage in the process. Optimistic with high expectations, will we remain committed until the end? We will, for now, because we don't know what's to come. Soon enough, like the purchase of something brand new, the excitement of the experience is fleeting. No one mentioned the intangibles that have to be developed before you become. All of a sudden, you realize that all your vices will sabotage the journey you've committed to. You have to let go of a less equipped version of you. Becoming will require transformation and sacrifice, a change from who you are to who you want to be. The process of becoming is difficult. Why didn't anyone put this on the brochure? Comforts are being replaced with discomforts. Our once high expectations are starting to deflate. The timeline of your success has been extended far beyond what you assumed. The cost of excellence is bigger than you imagined. Will you pay for it? At this point, you're not sure if you can remember if the dream is still worth it. The gap between now and arrival seems so far apart. After some self-reflection, you realized you never wanted the process at all. You didn't want the early mornings or the late nights. You didn't want the mistakes and failures. You didn't want the frustration of lost time. You didn't want to practice publicly. You didn't have the patience to go the distance. You didn't want to suffer along the way. You wanted the goal without the cost. There's still hope, you know. The world needs your voice if you change your mindset. Settle into suffering. The work will keep you safe. Detach from the outcome and do your best each day. Let the process fuel the gratification and let me say this. When in doubt, always come back to the craft. The craft is what you fell in love with at the beginning. Before the attention, there was only creation. Executing is the dream. Success is knowing you've won every time you take action. The outcome is out of your control. Dismiss the need to perform whenever you feel like you've fallen off track. Know that you're never finished. The way home always leads back to the craft.